Hi everyone and welcome back to the sixth episode of the Angular Spring Boot course. Now, today is where the fun really starts. So we're going to create our first Angular 6 application. After that, we're going to build it, we're going to run it, and we're going to see how we can open it in IntelliJ and how we can work together with you know, the Angular app and the Spring Boot application. Now, before we get started, I want to remind you that you can always subscribe to this channel to stay tuned for more software development courses that will sharpen your programming skills. Now, what does it take to create an Angular 6 application? Well, if you remember back from the previous episodes, we discussed about the Angular CLI. Now, the Angular CLI is the entry point for everything related to your Angular project. So you can use it to create apps, create components, create services, build apps, test apps, and so on and so forth. And this is exactly what we are going to do to create our first application. Now, to keep things really, really simple, in the beginning, we just need to remember three commands, and I think these are the most important commands. So, the first one is ng-new. So if you say ng-new and then we follow it by an application name, the Angular CLI will create that application for us uh, with all the correct project structure and you know a demo component. Then we have ng-build. Now we can use ng-build to actually build up our application and make it deployable. And finally we have ng-serve which builds the application and then on top of that it actually runs it um, under an HTTP server. So ng-new, ng-build and ng-serve. Let's see them in action. I fired up IntelliJ and this is our Spring Boot application. Now what I want to do is I want to navigate to the location so I'm going to select show in explorer okay so this is the noted application the noted API which is a Spring Boot app this is the the, the you know um, database and now I want to open a command prompt in here okay open a PowerShell window it can be a command prompt it can be pretty much anything and I'm going to write ng new remember our first command and I'm going to give it a name so I'm going to say it note it ng sorry app okay so we will create a new application which is going to be called note it ng app I'm going to hit enter and now we're going to see the angular CLI doing its magic now it might take a couple of you know one minute two minutes because there are lots of dependencies lots of files that need to be fetched from uh, from the npm repositories but after this command executes you will have a working application and while this application is being created i want to point out that uh, when you're dealing with Spring Boot or for that matter with any backend technology so you have one app the Spring Boot application in our case the API and then next to it you have the Angular client so even from a folder structure you can see that these two are completely distinct applications and now we'll just wait for everything to get prepared okay our application is now created okay so I'm going to I'm going to clear the screen we can go here and we see that we have this new folder structure for an angular app now we'll talk about the folder structure in the next episode however now that I have my app I want to navigate to it so it's going to be the noted ng app and now let's try to build our application so ng build we are in the folder of the application so we don't have to specify the name because we navigated to the root of the Angular application and now we can just type in commands no need for name here so ng build and this should start to you know build all our components services you know bind everything together and give us a deployable artifact again this might take a couple of you know seconds or minutes depending on your project machine uh, etc but it should be pretty fast in here because yeah it's a small app okay so our build is completed and we have a deployable package and if you want to execute this app we can just you know let me just clear the screen 
I can just type in ng serve and now uh, the CLI will you know build the noted ng app but it will also run it under a server and by default it's going to be yeah localhost uh, 4200 so you can see here this was the build stage and let's go let's fire up a new instance of Chrome and let's go to localhost 4200 okay well we have our first angular application and it's running perfectly cool now the CLI you know is pretty nice uh, command prompts are pretty nice but let's try to open this application in IntelliJ now I already have the Spring Boot application in here and I'm going to import a project from existing sources because we already created the Angular application using the CLI and okay I'm going to select this folder hit OK and now okay create project from existing sources okay this is going to be noted ng app pretty fair and now uh, the IDE will scan that folder and will try to determine the type of application that you're trying to import okay searching for frameworks and it should detect that in this folder there is an angular application okay so uh, IntelliJ detected the frameworks it knows that this is an angular application we hit finish okay and uh, IntelliJ will ask us if we want to open this project in this window or in a new window and we'll select a new window remember we have two projects two distinct applications and when we are working on them okay we have Spring Boot we have angular two IDs uh, it's uh, uh, I think things are more clear this way okay so we have you know one instance of IntelliJ for the Spring Boot app and another one for um, the Angular app okay so we have the project structure in here and we also have a terminal and if I hit on the terminal I can actually I will stop this here you can actually execute your application from here as well so I can go here and say ng serve well it's still you know indexing it's going a little bit slow what we'll just let it do its thing okay we're going to hit ng serve and it's the exact same result as we had in the PowerShell window and while you're developing your app I think it's a lot more convenient to use the built-in terminal because you don't have to switch contexts that often so you just stay in your ID uh, you build your Spring Boot app you come here you build your Angular app you run it you serve it so it makes working a lot faster I had no idea that indexing this would take such a long time okay but I think it's finally done okay and ng serve just kicked in okay and now we have our application running on the same port but now we've 
uh, executed this command from within IntelliJ. Before we close, I would like to remind you to subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more software development tutorials that will sharpen your programming skills. Just go to the Romanian Coder YouTube page and click on the subscribe button. Also, if you found this video useful, please hit the like button and share it with your friends. If you have any comments, thoughts or ideas for new courses, just put them in the comment section at the end of this video because I would love to get feedback from you guys. You can also find me on Twitter at RomanianCoder and you can also check out my blog www.romaniancoder.com. Until next time, have a great day and write amazing code. Goodbye.